Hi, this is Wendy Lightheart, and in this lesson, we're going to look at how to subtract real numbers. Recall the real number line that we use to add real numbers. Let's look at how we can use it to subtract real numbers. So for example, imagine you have $5 in your checking account, and you spend $8. And we want to know how much is left in your account. So we can use the real number line to represent this problem by starting at 5 and then subtracting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dollars from that $5 balance. And notice that we end up with negative 3, so it would be actually $3 in the hole. So the math problem that this represents is 5 minus 8 is equal to negative 3. So notice that when we used addition and we were adding a positive number, we would move to the right. But when we're subtracting a positive number, we do just the opposite and move to the left. So notice that to subtract a positive number, we move to the left, which is the same thing we do to add a negative number. Thus, subtracting a positive number will give the same result as adding the negative number that has the same absolute value. Similarly, subtracting a negative number will give the same result as adding the positive number that has the same absolute value. So for example, 3 minus positive 5 gives the same result as 3 plus a negative 5. In other words, 3 minus 5 is equal to 3 plus negative 5. Now we can think of the addition rules. If we're adding two numbers with the opposite sign, like we have here, we'd find the difference between 3 and 5, which would be 2. And then since the negative 5 has the bigger absolute value, our, our answer will be negative. So 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 2. Let's look at another example. Negative 6 minus 8 gives the same result as negative 6 plus negative 8. So in other words, negative 6 minus 8 is equal to negative 6 plus negative 8. So here you can think of it as I have 6 negatives and I add 8 more negatives to that. And that will give me 14 negatives altogether. So negative 6 minus 8 equals negative 14. So subtracting real numbers boils down to these steps. The first thing you want to do is change the subtraction operation to addition. Then change the sign of the number being subtracted. And lastly, add using either the rule for adding numbers having the same sign or adding numbers having opposite signs. So for example, if we want to subtract 12 minus 15, we can rewrite that by changing the addition sign or the subtraction sign to addition and then changing the 15, which is positive originally, to a negative 15. So now we have we're adding two numbers that have opposite sign. So we find the difference between 12 and 15, which is 3. And the bigger number is negative, so we end up with negative 3. Now let's subtract negative 3 minus negative 9. So first we change the subtraction sign to addition. And then we replace the negative 9 with a positive 9. So now we have two numbers being added together that are opposite signs. So we find the difference between the two absolute values, which would be 6. And the bigger number is 9, and it's positive. So our answer is positive. So we end up with a positive 6. Now let's look at how we add and subtract a series of numbers. So first, we change all the subtractions to addition. 
and then changing the sign of the number being subtracted to the opposite sign. So the two steps that we saw earlier. You want to make sure that you do this first before you do anything else. It's extremely important. Then you can group and add all the positive numbers together and do the same thing with all the negative numbers. And then take those two results and add them together. So let's look at an example. So here we have a series of additions and subtractions. So remember the very first step is to change the subtractions to addition. And when we do that, remember you also are also changing the sign of the number that was being subtracted originally. So our minus 17 becomes plus a negative 17. And our minus a negative 6 becomes plus a positive 6. Now that it's all addition, we can rearrange the terms how we want. So we'll group all the positive numbers together, and then we'll group the negative numbers together. So the positive numbers are 9, 5, and 6, and then there's only one negative number, and that is negative 17. So we add the positive numbers together, and 9 plus 5 plus 6 equals 20. So now we can add 20 plus negative 17. We use our rule for adding opposite numbers, or numbers with opposite signs, which means we're going to really find the difference between 20 and 17, which is 3. And since 20 is the bigger number and it's positive, we end up with a positive 3 as our final result.